Hey everybody, it's Colvin Alderson for GardensAll.com. I'm out here in our garden. I'd like to cover one thing in particular today. That is spraying. And we had ordered a nifty new sprayer, and there are reasons why I picked this particular type. Because uh, we wanted to get a upgrade on the evenness of the coverage and not have to worry about having to pump and pump and pump. So I did a bit of research, went up online and uh, found this particular sprayer, which is made by Scott's. And if you'll notice, I'm gonna make a noise here. Okay, that sound is the sound of this sprayer pressurizing the tank below. It's uh, rechargeable batteries. You just plug it in to the back here and it takes about half an hour to get a full charge. I've not run it out yet, so I can't uh, quite, excuse me, I can't quite determine exactly how long. And obviously that will, uh, you know, depend on how often you're spraying. But what it does, and I'll turn it back on, it lays out an even, this is just water. We'll let it charge up a little bit on the nozzle here has a selector so you can put it on fan that's the widest uh, stream which shoots about 20 feet <laughs> that'd be useful if you're trying to get up to trees and whatnot and a cone which is sort of in between it's a heavier denser coverage okay I'm gonna put it on fan and look at this such a nice even coat and uh, this is a dahlia by the way it just came out now watch this this is one of the big problems I've had with pump sprayers is coming in underneath the leaves and they always a lot of times they recommend this is what you must do to uh, protect the plant completely so that's what this does notice I have not reached down and pumped the handle on this at all. And about underneath the leaves, that's where a lot of aphids tend to hide out as well, so it's very important. All kinds of bugs, aphids, Mexican bean beetles, which by the way was part of, uh, it all ties in here. Last year our beans eventually were decimated by the Mexican bean beetle. You can look that up. It looks sort of like a ladybug, only it's orange, and it is totally non-garden friendly or non-friendly in the garden yeah. so <laughs> but um, it was really it was rampant and you'll see them come out in these little puffy little uh, fuzzball type yellow creatures that cling to the underside of the leaves and they just totally decimated they turned the leaves into sort of a window pane like they just ate from the bottom up so this year having planted a bunch of beans I was determined not to succumb to the uh, invasion of the Mexican bean beetle. And in reading up, one of the best things I found for organic treatment, it's not a pesticide, it's more a preventative, but it makes a lot of sense, and that is the kaolin clay. Now, you can go up online and read about it. The particular product we got is called uh, Surround WP. WP stands for wettable powder. Now, I could only find it in a 25 pound bag, which is rather expensive, but in my mind, it's worth it having it here and being able to use it. It's critical that you apply this in an even coat, top surface and bottom. And that's the reason why I tripped over and got this, um, this type of sprayer because it, you don't have to stop and it, it's a very even coat that's put out there. Now, you can come see our, um, here's a row of beans here, and I, I didn't just spray the beans, I sprayed a few other things, and it just, uh, it, this doesn't look too even, but we've had a few little rain showers. Now this stuff will persist for a couple weeks, uh, depending on the rain situation and the recommendation. I strongly encourage, if you're going to use the uh, Surround WP, to go up and online and look at the PDF that has the material data sheets and the recommendations on what to and what not to do. This is a cucumber plant. Of course, we get the cucumber beetles and all that. Now, what it does, as I said, it's, it's not a pesticide per se, 
it's a protectant and bugs don't like it. <laughs> it looks like powdery mildew right actually it helps prevent powdery mildew as well but the bugs get on here and they just don't like this it's not as um, damaging to insects as the um, was it the uh, diatomaceous type earth that people put out because that cuts into the skeleton this is just not very pleasant for them to uh, start to ingest and it's a very fine powder it uh, gets over everything whenever you try to mix it up or whatever but make sure as you spray it again following the directions to agitate the sprayer it's about two and a half uh, no sorry 3.5 weight ounces to seven weight ounces per gallon and uh, that's what we mixed in the sprayer in the past so three and a half um, to seven ounces of the dry powder weight right weight on a scale right all right um, and we're just gonna see we'll keep reporting we've sprayed all the beans um, and this little guy just has been such a such a uh, great little tool and I'm glad it's invented it's got um, it's got the dial a, a stream here it also has a pressure relief valve so you don't have to let it sit under power like that cool it has the cradle for the it has one. a little tray for the nozzle because invariably whenever you do this the nozzle drips a little bit and it has a little tray to catch that and to hold it um, so I would I would recommend this unit just on its own to spray whatever you're going to spray. And that's um, compared to the backpack sprayer that you've used for years. Right, and here's, and here's our old Solo, which nothing really wrong with the old Solo, except you got to keep pumping it. And it is definitely not as even. It has its um, its peaks and lags as you, as you apply it. And uh, of course you have this kind of sprayer, which obviously depends on how hard you pull the trigger and the quantity is just not there but we use this for spot treatment but uh, i give uh i give top-notch creds to um to the scots and it has some pretty good reviews it has a three-year warranty so uh that's that's, right. that's what we're recommending here three years is a great warranty it is you guys um find any other way of doing this or any other products you know let us know we're here and we love to hear from you that's all I have to say. All right. Thank you. See ya. Gardensall.com.